What's up, family? This just in. Bill O'Racist has released his official response to being fired by Fox Stankin' News earlier this week. Goes like this, y'all. Bill O'Reilly, former host of The O'Reilly Factor, has responded to being let go from Fox News. In a statement provided to CNN's Dylan Byers, O'Reilly said, over the past 20 years at Fox, I have been extremely proud to launch and lead one of the most successful news programs in history, which has consistently informed and entertained millions of Americans and significantly contributed to building Fox into the dominant news network in television. It is tremendously disheartening that we part ways due to completely unfound claims, but that is the unfortunate reality many of us in the public eye must live with today, he added. 21st Century Fox, the parent company of Fox News, announced O'Reilly's departure earlier in the week. After a thorough and careful review of the allegations, the company and Bill O'Reilly have agreed that Bill O'Reilly would not be returning to Fox News, the company said in a statement. The move comes after a wave of advertiser defections after reports Fox and O'Reilly paid more than $13 million to women who had accused the O'Reilly factor of sexual harassment. The accusations, which includes verbal abuse and lewd behavior directed at employees and guests of the show, span a period between 2012 and 2016. These accusations include fondling males in their behinds. <laughs> Ah, all right, you don't say that, but you know he probably was. All right. NBC News is reporting O'Reilly will receive a severance of around $25 million. He had recently signed a contract worth an estimated $25 million a year for as many as five years. A confidentiality agreement limits what information will be released to the public. O'Reilly's departure is a huge blow, blow to the network. The O'Reilly Factor was cable's highest rated program, bringing in an average of 728,000 small-minded, dementia, racist bastards every night in the coveted 25 to 54 year age demographic. The second highest rated show was Tucker Carlson Tonight with 689,000 average viewers, average being the operative word. He will take over for the O'Reilly Factor. Fox Network Chief Roger Ailes retired last year over allegations he sexually harassed women employees at the network. So we got a culture, y'all, at Fox of sexual abuse. You know, for a network that tries to pass itself over as a wholesome, family-oriented network. They show us some freaky bastards over there. Some freaky, criminal-minded sex predators. They got a culture at Fox. And believe you me, it's going to continue. Because, see, leadership starts at the top. And for them to have all of these sexual harassment charges, all of these claims. And this is going from the top. This ain't just with Bill O'Reilly. I mean, their, their chairman had to step down because of sexual harassment claims. So can you imagine a woman working in that environment? And I bet you, Megan Kelly, I can guarantee you she endured some things that she's afraid to even talk about. She probably can't even talk about some of the shit she endured. But all of them, they all, you can tell, you can look at their, their faces when they're doing their reporting. Probably just got through being fondled before the camera said, action. I'm telling you, man, they have a culture over at Fox for sexual harassment. You see, the thing about sexual abusers, they never, ever 
admit to wrongdoing. They never take responsibility for their actions. And this invites more behavior of the same kind. Now, this dude, Bill O'Reilly, he's just going to go out there and try to launch a massive sympathy campaign. And to some extent, it's already working because you have people out there sympathizing with him already. Oh, he was set up. You know, uh, these are just claims. I think even Donald Trump, but I mean, that ain't, that's not really a, that's not really a, a big, a, a, a huge thing for him to agree. Cause he was like, uh, yeah, I don't believe the charges. They're all fake, blah, blah, blah. I mean, he's a sexual predator himself. So of course he would say something like that. But even on the occasion of forced retirement, forced resignation, Bill O'Reilly still can't figure out for 21 years if he was doing news or entertainment. He can't figure it out. I suggest that he was doing entertainment because his damn show wasn't news. It was one big old show. And never mind all the lies they, they told. And he's saying that, what did he say exactly? He said that it is tremendously disheartening that we part ways due to completely unfounded claims. Dude, they had a tape recording of you. They had evidence. No, it was not unfounded. And people just don't leave a $25 million uh, job, a $25 million a year job for just because somebody claimed you did something to them. No, they had some damn proof. They had some heavy proof. That's the only reason you, because you've been lying forever. You've been lying for a long time. Fox been covering your ass for a long time, but you couldn't get by those sexual harassment claims because they were true. That's why your ass got fired. And it also said that Fox, they said that this was going on from a period of 2012 to 2016. That's just what's documented. His ass been doing that since he'd been there. He probably, he probably walked through the door and a woman was there waiting to greet him and he, mm, nice. This is the type of dude he is. He probably been, this dude, is, this dude has been this type of way. So nobody just... Uh, quits a $25 million a year job. And if they was giving him $25 million, you know, they was probably making $200 million or more off of him. Probably a lot more than that. So they wouldn't just get rid of him for that. I mean, they've covered him with a whole, for a whole bunch of lies. And, you know, if this was a lie, trust me, trust me, they got the means they got the means to, to disprove it. They got, or they got the means to prove that it was a lie. So trust me, his ass did it. They said, Fox News said that after a thorough and careful review of the allegations, you better believe it was thorough and careful. Now that, that's the only part that I do believe that they, that they did or that they told the truth on. Now, They've been knowing that he was like this. So when they say careful review of the allegations, they're just, they're, they're, what they really mean is that we're going to carefully review these allegations to see how we can put a spin on it and see if we can lie our way up out of this. And then when they realize, man, ain't no way out this shit, man, Bill. You know, we love you, man. And I'm telling you, they made the decision together. They didn't just fire him. They, they were in cahoots. So they didn't just fire him. They made the decision together. Like, man, we, dude, man, damn, Bill, man, we want to keep you bad, man. Damn, boy, we, boy, we getting this money, man. man. We, man, damn, man, we be, man, we be fundling them boys together and all kind of stuff, man, man. We be rolling together, man. You know, we gotta let you go, though, Bill, man, because, 
man, they, they, they got too much proof. That's the only reason why they let him go. Way too much proof. They had way too much proof. Now, here go the deal also, y'all. Sometimes when you develop a huge ego, you kind of start feeling like you're untouchable. And you start believing your own press. You don't even realize when you do something wrong because you're so high up there in your mind. Your, your nose is stuck so far in the air that you can't even see what's on the ground. You know, you can't even be down to earth because you can't see the damn ground. And that's the kind of dude, you got to imagine, think about it. This dude was the high, had the highest rating cable program in the land for years and years. And he was the main guy, the number one guy at a major network. That's a lot of juice. That's a lot of authority. That's a lot of influence. That's a lot of power. And like all tyrants, they let power go to their head. And now Bill Riley is dead. Bill Riley is no more. He'll probably end up somewhere else on another racist channel, another way ne racist network. And if he do, or when he do, I'll be right there to clown his sucker ass. No more talk. What, what the man is talking about. Damn. Order, Texas.